Silver's on the scene. Sunday, September 1st. That's right. Happy September, everybody. We're here. August is gone, and we are in September. I hope your weekend's going great. For those of you who have a three-day weekend, we still have another day to go. But I had to bring you something tonight, and let me just jump straight into it. I'm going to jump straight into it because, ladies and gentlemen, here's the thumbnail. Update. Was Chris Proudfoot even at Easy Days? Not on file. That's how I've titled the thumbnail. Let me say this, folks, and then we'll jump into it. There is zero record of a Christopher Proudfoot having an RV at Easy Days RV Park in South Haven, Mississippi. Did you hear that? He's not on record. How do I know? I'll tell you. Just give me a second. Sebastian Rogers. That's why we're here. Gone 188 days. 188 days. Six months and a week. Six months and a week ago tonight. Somewhere between 6.30 p.m. on the 25th of February... The 6.30 a.m. on the 26th of February, this boy went missing. 15 years old, autistic, missing from his home in Hendersonville, Tennessee. These two, his mom, Katie Proudfoot, and his stepdad, Christopher Proudfoot. Yes, that's a photo of them from the Nancy Grace interview in their RV at Yogi Bear. RV Park in Horn Lake, Mississippi. We're not talking about Yogi Bear tonight. We're going to talk about Easy Days. That's two miles. You heard me. Two miles down the street. And only two miles. It's in another city, Horn Lake. That's in Horn Lake. This is in Horn Lake. We're talking about easy days in South Haven, Mississippi. So let's take a look, give it an overview of what we're talking about. I show this picture because this shows not only the relation to the two, and I'm going to pull up Google Maps in a moment too, and then we're going to dive into this. But all these X is showing where I've searched, okay? And right here is Yogi Bear, Yogi Bear, Yogi Bear. And over here, this X right here is Easy Days. It's a two-mile drive. Somewhere it crosses from South Haven into Horn Lake. And both of these are at the top of Mississippi, just south of Memphis, Tennessee. So let's throw up the Google Maps, all right? Easy Days RV Park. Now, let me just state again what I've stated, then we're going to get into it. There is zero record on file for a Christopher Proudfoot renting a spot at the Easy Days RV Park in South Haven, Mississippi. How do I know this? Ladies and gentlemen, I made a phone call. I made a phone call, not really knowing what to expect. Hey, contact the South Haven police, get back to us. Hey, come in person. Hey, I can't give you that information, but that was completely opposite of what I got. I was well received, 15 year old boy missing. A, they knew nothing about Sebastian Rogers missing. Nothing, zero. And then B, I was looking for two answers simply. Was Christopher Proudfoot there? And what day did he leave? Was he there in February? And what day did he leave? Second to that, I was looking for where was he located in your park? Now, let's take a look here. Something I didn't realize until I got on the phone with him. This is the main office. You can see it's located here. Easy Days RV Park. So, I was aware of this side. I did not realize this is also part of their park. 
as well as you see this open field behind rooms to go they're expanded so what do we have the i don't know if you call it the main area but the main like leasing office there's a pool behind it we'll zoom in and show you that it, it's relevant i'll tell you why main area i was focused on this row and this area this is also part where people can park their rv rent their space across the street this area here is for uh storage so if you've got an rv and you want to stay at home for a while you don't uh, want to use your rv you can store it here and then they are expanding because they're so busy this is going to be another spot so eventually easy days will go all the way down through here okay that's just some of the detail i was given on my call to them this afternoon now before i go further let me tell you this if there's no record of christopher proudfoot on file at easy days then was he at Yogi Bear? Has he been at Yogi Bear the entire time? So he didn't move from Easy Days. He actually moved from Yogi Bear and he went back to Yogi Bear. Okay? I don't know which one of those are more confusing. Leaving one and going to another or leaving the one you're already at and then coming back. Why not just leave your RV there and come back three weeks later like you did? So I phoned Yogi Bear. They are, they were closed today or are closed today, several hours ago. So there was no one to speak to. I did leave a message that I was looking for a 15 year old autistic boy by the name of Sebastian Rogers, missing from Tennessee. And then I need to ask questions and find some answers. If they're willing to speak to me, I left my phone number. Maybe they'll call. If they don't, uh, I'll phone them again tomorrow. It being Labor Day, not sure if they'll be open as well, but hopefully by Tuesday. I can contact them. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm doing is I would love to be out there looking. I would love to be out there looking. That is Silver's on the scene. Why is that what I do? Because I feel like when you're there in person where things could have happened, you pick up things, you feel things, you, you're you looking, you're, you're actually where something could have happened. And that's how you find somebody, in my opinion. So I couldn't make it there. I'm not going to be able to make it there for several weeks. And there's a few people we have in the area. Okay. So I've reached out to them. And let me take this time to show you. I'll address her as Tammy. And Tammy was able to go by yesterday. And let's just watch her little video clip. Okay, so to give you an idea of where Tammy's at, we'll go back here to this. She's basically right here in her car, and she's filming these woods just to show what these look like. And you catch she catches this RV at the end. Let's take a look at it one more time. Right there. So that gives you an idea. So if you pull this up, excuse me if you pull this up okay and you go in here right here proxies where her car is somewhere right in here and she catches this rv okay and there it is right there okay so this shows you how close these rvs are to this stretch of woods now she also has another clip for us to take a look at Thank you, Tammy, for your help. We appreciate it. All of us appreciate it. Let's take a look at this clip. Okay, so what we're seeing in this clip is, what stands out for me is this building here. This would be the rv sales building okay um also i'll give tammy credit that she found out that this area these trees are part of this property so the property line for this rv place it may even be where this fence is they may split the trees but it's split so 
parts, the uh, easy days, and this is the uh, RV sales. Can't see the name there, but South Haven RV and Marine is these two. Um, so what I noticed though, and what she was trying to show me in this vi this particular video is how dense these trees are. Okay, it's a wooded area. I wouldn't call it a forest by any means. It's a wooded area, as you can see on Google. But right here, how you could simply go in there really easily. Okay, so how did I get to Colin and how did we get this footage that Tammy went by? Why are we here? Okay, you go back to the last couple of videos. I'd asked people, where, where was Chris Proudfoot at the easy days? Okay, that's the question because as you can see in my photo here, I've looked all over here around Horn Lake, around Yogi Bear, but look at this one spot. Was he here? And the theory being that, yes, on the night Sebastian went missing, he had been here all month, maybe even in January. And on that particular night, his RV was here. He comes home the next day. And then the following day, he goes back, as we all know, we all know he went back and brought that RV back home. So one of two things happened. Well, actually one of three. A, he was here, brought the RV back. When he came back three weeks later, came back to Yogi. B, he wasn't here. He was at Yogi the entire time, took it from Yogi home and came back three weeks later. Or possibly, maybe there's a, th she did say to me, the lady who I spoke with, that there's several other RV places nearby. Was he at one of those? And for some reason, we heard Easy Days or we got confused and thought it was Easy Days. So that's the question. So what am I saying here? Okay, this is, this is the whole point of this video. And I want people to come in the comments and help out here. Why? The question is this. Why? Why did we believe... Christopher Proudfoot was staying at this RV. I, I'm, a, I'm a little embarrassed to admit, I don't know why. I don't know why. Did he say it? Can someone share with me in a video, in an interview, that Christopher Proudfoot, from his own words, his own mouth, said he stayed here? Because here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, listen very carefully here. He is not on file. It's real simple. Did Christopher Proudfoot stay at your RV park the month of February? We could care less about January, right? We know where he was in March. Was he there in February, specifically 25, 26, 27? And did he retrieve on the 27 or possibly even the 28th that RV from your lot? Michael, the answer is we do not have any Proudfoot on record on file. No Proudfoot. No Jim Proudfoot, no Katie Proudfoot, no whatever Proudfoot. So I said, okay, let's go through some more names. Let's just throw Rogers out there. There were several Rogers, but they were no Rogers I've ever heard of. There was not Seth, there was not Sebastian. And those were really the two I was looking for. Um... Bower socks. Terry or Kathy Bower socks. Nothing on file. No. Construction company, contractor, St. Jude's. Went through a whole list of things I could think of that possibly it was under his company. No, no, no. Now she did share with me IDs aren't taken, our IDs aren't asked for. You can just sign in. Now, allegedly, in my opinion, as all of this is, by the way, allegedly, in my opinion, we've seen Chris call into YouTube, live call-ins. We've seen him in chats. And maybe he's a funny guy, right? But he likes to play around and pretend like he's other people. You know, when I go to a restaurant and they ask my name, it depends on the mood I am. Maybe I say Jason. Right? Maybe I say Bob. I don't know. Is he a person who just checks in under, you know, an alias for whatever reason? You know, nothing nefarious, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Hey, I'm Jim Smith. Okay. 
one suggestion I was told by the lady who works there was, hey, maybe he shared, I've never heard this, but maybe a co-worker stayed with him in the RV to save money, and it was under his name. So there's really several possibilities, but the one thing we know is a Christopher Proudfoot did not record himself there. He did, he's not on the books for staying there. So now it leads to the question. I've got a couple of them. Number one, why did we think, why did we think Christopher Proudfoot was at Easy Days? So I'm asking that to everyone. Can you tell me why? Can you send me a link to a video? Can you send me something that he's saying in his own words? I was at Easy Days. That's where I retrieved my trailer from. And when Katie and I went back, we went to Yogi Bear. Okay? Because I, I don't know if that exists. Secondly, if that does exist, if he is saying he stayed there, Okay, if he's saying he stayed at this place, right? Okay, and if that's the case, okay, then, then if he was here, easy days, why is his name not on file? Now, at this point, I'm really jumping ahead here, but this is all alleged. But was this planned further than we think? And secondly, is he on file at Yogi Bear? We know he's at Yogi. People have gone by. They've done their own videos. I've videoed. I've taken photos. I've never seen his truck there. All of my photos and videos, he's never been there, nor has Katie's car been there when I've gone by. But I've seen photos and videos of others who have seen their vehicles there. But when I've gone by, he's either at work or he's out doing something. I've never once been there in person and seen. The only time I've ever seen his truck is driving by his home. But we know he was there. So that's another reason I called Yogi. I called Yogi for two reasons. Number one, did a Christopher Proudfoot stay with you guys? Yes. Well, we know this. Second, was he there in February? And if so, I know he was in there mid to late March, up until recent. But on the February, was he there in February? And when did he leave in February? Because I don't know which is more a big question mark, ladies and gentlemen. Is it a big question, bigger question mark that he was at Yogi, went and got his RV, brought it back home, and then three weeks later went back to the same park where it could have just sat during those three weeks while he was supposedly searching for his stepson, allegedly in my opinion, or did he move it from another park? And if so, what park? So I just had to get out and give this update. as to, Because once again, let me get back. I kind of jumped around here. But going off of Tammy's videos and why she went by there. Yes, this is on Silver's on the Scene's radar for a potential spot to search. This could be a possible location. Due to some tips that I've received, due to proximity of the campers or the RVs, this place, let's zoom in on this, this place here, and as I was told by the lady who works there, these are very dense, they're very close to the campers. I think you see where I'm going without me having to state it, right? So this became a possible location. Unfortunately, I can't be there for several weeks. But I do want to point this out as I notice this. You can see here, and I think again, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy, for noticing this. This, let's look at a couple of things. See the date? 2024. Okay, so this imagery is as of 2024. I guess what they Google calls their Airbus. So this happened sometime between January and where we are now. So what can we identify here to ask someone who works there? And I identified this. I said, when do you remove your pool and open it to your tenants or guests or how you call them. She told me this opens Memorial Day weekend. So we know it shot in 2024 and it's sometime between January 1st and Memorial Day. That gives you essentially five months, right? 
So sometime in five months. So this is a recent photo. Now, the other thing I realized, too, when you back out, see how these trees look bare? Okay, so look here. So these trees are showing no leaves, whereas these trees are. Even in this little wooded area with more wood, some trees are showing similar to these, showing leaves, and others aren't. This tells me this was probably between January and April before any blooming started, right? This could have this imagery could have been taken right around the time Sebastian went missing. I don't know. I don't know how we would know versus contacting Google. But she said yes. With this being closed off, she even knew who was driving the, you know, who's in this truck and different things about the park. Very helpful. I'm not going to say her name, but very helpful. So, where do we go from here? That's the question, right? Well, the first step for Silvers is to contact Yogi Bear. If Yogi Bear says, look, I'll tell you this, since he's already gone, there's no harm. He was here in March till recently. I know that already. Was he there in February? If they say yes, he was here in February, then there you go. He was at Yogi, and we're right back to where we've been looking right in here and Yogi Bear. So this is Yogi Bear. This is easy days, right? The bird flies through them real easy. Um, okay, so if he's there, he's there. If they say no, he was not here in February, and we are not having him on file here, then we've got to dig deeper, and that's where it comes. You have to just dig deeper and find out. So that's step one that I'll be up doing myself. Step two is, and I'm going to go ahead and say it because you know what? We've got to get in here and find this child. Let's, let's, let's take a moment here. Hold on. Right here. It's Sebastian Rogers. We have to find him. So what silver's on the scene, what we are doing is we are trying to do things from afar. People like Tammy who are willing to go out and at least look at the area. The conditions weren't perfect yes, yesterday. I believe it was yesterday she took these, so she didn't feel comfortable either. That's the other thing. I, I would never ask anyone to go out looking, especially with a case like this, because you don't know who's watching. I've had several people tell me in the comments and in emails, be careful. Uh, I'm a little mo bit more like, come on, you know, let's do it. I get out there anyway, but I've had help recently, and that's the best way to do it. Someone watching your back in case anything were to happen to you while you're in these woods or if someone's watching. So, but here's what I'm saying. I said to the person here at Easy Days, one of my last things was this. Do you have security footage? She says, yes, we do have cameras. Pointed at the gates, pointed across the street at this gate too. By the way, before anybody asks, there is no scanning on the gates. I can pull in at any time. Anyone can. It's open. So there's no way of tracking if someone came in at 3.30, 3.15 or any, you know, it's just open. But there are cameras. And the way the cameras work, according to who I spoke to is if someone pulls in, they'll be caught on camera. Someone leaves, they'll be caught on camera. Someone pulls in, they'll be caught on camera. So I then shared, because remember, they knew nothing of this case. They know now. So I shared Christopher Proudfoot's truck. I shared the RV. I sh all these things they can find on Google, right? Google themselves. How he looks. All these things I've shared. And, of course, the person I spoke to today is not the only one that works there. So come Tuesday, she's going to contact or get with the person who works the majority of the week who would have a better window or chance of seeing or remembering somebody. And she said, listen, I don't know if our footage, our security footage goes back all the way till February. But if it does, we'll be more than happy to look. Ask me what dates to look. I gave her those dates. I gave her what to look for maybe we get something. Now, I'll state this. 
I don't know how many people work, how many different people could answer the phone. This is one person, and she was great on everything she did. There's at least one other that works more hours than her. This person may say, I knew about this. The police contacted me. Someone else contacted me. But I don't know that and won't know that until at least Tuesday. So we'll have to wait on that. We'll have to wait on Yogi. Hopefully they're open tomorrow. We have to get answers because... I'm trying to eliminate this place. If Christopher Proudfoot never stayed here, then the chances of him coming here to hide something, allegedly in my opinion, are pretty much slim to none. Okay? All right. Um, So that's pretty much it. Uh, I think it's just, I don't, you know, let me just say this. When I made the phone call, when I made the phone call, if anything, I was expect. I try to go into these with no expectation. But anything, if I was expecting anything, it would have been, sorry, we can't give you that information. And my thoughts are going to be, well, they're not there now. You know, it's not like I'm coming to try to harm someone or coming to show up while they're there. I want to know, have they been here? And here's the reason why. We have a missing 15-year-old. All hands on deck, all eyes on deck. I did not expect what I got, though. Number one, they don't know about this child missing, Sebastian Rogers. Number two, no record of Chris Proudfoot being there. Doesn't mean he wasn't there. There's just no record. That would be like me saying I stayed at the Hilton when I was down in Orlando, and you go in and say, did Michael stay here? Was Silver's on the scene here? And they go, no, he wasn't here. There's no record of him. Well, maybe it was under my company's name. Maybe it was under my manager's name. Maybe that's the case here. Maybe it is it maybe it is under his manager's name. I don't know what his manager's name is though. I know the name of the company. So there's several other possibilities. So with that being said, here's a blast out to everyone. Because this is how we find this child. Not one person looking, but everybody looking. So here's the question for this video. I'll wrap it up. Does anyone know real factual proof that this guy stayed at the Easy Days Park the month of February, but most importantly, the days surrounding Sebastian's missing when he disappeared? And when he went and retrieved his RV, did he retrieve it from Easy Days? And if you think so, as 98% of the people said yes, and I believe so too, then how? Because as I show you these spots, and Tammy went out and did some videos, that's our plan to go look there, okay? To go physically, get on the scene, and search. But before we do so, can someone tell us if he was there? And at this point, on the evening of September the 1st Sunday, there's no record of him being there. So, If you have a video, if you have a clip, if you have something, send me the link, send me the video of him saying he was there, and we can dive deeper. I will follow up with Yogi Bear tomorrow. Hopefully, they'll be open, and I'll have a follow-up from that. I think at worst case, we're looking at Tuesday to get some answers, but we're going to keep digging because this boy needs to come home. He needs to come home. Been gone way too long, and we need to find him. So, as always, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got some um, information you didn't know. Uh, as we said from the uh, from the thumbnail, was he ever here? He's not on file, folks. He's not on record. So help me if you know if he was and you can prove that he was. And we can move forward. We'll get in touch with Yogi, see if we get the footage from here. And move on forward. Or see if the person who works other shifts says, yep, I know this face. Yes, he was here. And we can move forward. Then we can begin looking. But until I can get back and start looking, we're going to ask questions like this to find this boy. So, thank you for your support. Thank you for your emails, your comments, your information. Always looking together, we will find. Keeping the awareness alive. 
find him, and then get justice. Have a great rest of your evening. Have a great rest of your three-day weekend. And as always, have fun, be safe, be at peace. And with Silvers on the Scene, stay tuned. More to come. Thank you.